Hi, I'm Shane. This is Tara. Hello. We are coming to you from our lounge room here in Perth. Welcome to our home. Welcome to our home. <laughs> we are the owners of the Swing at Swing Dance School and the school is on hiatus now because of pandemic. Yeah. We do this for pandemics now. Oh no. Yeah. So because there's no classes, uh, we thought we'd still like to offer something to our students here in Perth uh, by way of lounge room Lindy. Of course, by because of the internet, this could, I guess, potentially be seen by anyone. So if we don't know you, hello. What we're going to be doing with this series is introducing uh, some new moves for some of you and going over some older moves for some of you. But the idea is to provide something that you can kind of play around with in your lounge room and have fun with as we are trapped uh, because the world pandemic. is pandemic. It'll be like a pandemic. party in your lounge room or your kitchen. Or somewhere. Wherever. Let's do lounge room Lindy. Lounge room Lindy. Welcome to Lounge Room Lindy, Sudden Boba Fett. We're going to be covering some material today uh, that will be, I think, beginner, beginner, intermediate, all the way up. Yep. If you've never done Lindy Hop before, we may cover some basics up later on, but for now, we're going to stick with our kind of more intermediate stuff. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Jonathan Stout and the Campus Five. Thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan! Uh, Jonathan has uh, wonderfully uh, allowed us to use his music for <laughs> Pray to Jonathan. Jonathan has been kind enough to allow us to use his music uh, for our uh, lounge room Lindy lessons. I just want to point out that I've got a weird light thing going on. <laughs> this is a good time to point out that we have low production values. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so in our lounge room. It's in our lounge room. I'm learning on the go with this, so we'll see how we go. I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of really crazy mistakes in regards to how this can be done, but it doesn't matter because... Random Boba Fett. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. There's some cats. They could do things because it's what cats They're do. They're everywhere in our and house. It's going to happen. Let's get started. Welcome to the wide shot. Yeah. We're going to do the out in front. Uh, just quickly with the out in front, uh, this might have different names uh, wherever you go in the world. So Because there's I, different languages. Different languages. <laughs> um, so, But uh, out in front is how I learned it. And uh, I know that there's, it's a promenade. Uh, potentially in all of Sweden, but definitely with uh, Hase Marie. Hey, hey. Hey, Hase Marie. Uh, so they call it a, a prominot. A prominot. In Sweden. Sweden. Uh, yes, but uh, out in front anyway. So the out in front looks like this. Yeah. It is a rock step, triple step, forward, back, triple step. Boom. From the, boom. <laughs> From this direction is one, two, three. A five, six, and seven, eight. Let's do shape. Uh, shape, yeah. So shape first is super simple. Overall shape is my partner comes out in front and then my partner comes back. And follows. You are just going in front and making sure that you're lined up with your partner. Okay. Footwork. Yeah. Yes. So with the uh, footwork for this, rock, step, triple, step, step, triple. You know it. So I'm going to do rock, step, triple, step. I'm going to do a forward step, forward step, back step, triple step. Just for the lead, so you can see my footwork. Uh, rock step on the spot, triple step, uh, forward step on the five. Bring my whole body forward, back on the six. And then I like to triple step back a little bit to kind of sync up. In sync. Uh, with my partner. Yeah. For the follows, we're going to be going... A uh, rock step triple in front, and then we're going to be waiting for that going back on the five, forward on the six, and triple back into closed. I think we just lost one of our lights. It's going to be right. okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's the apocalypse. It's the apocalypse. Uh, lead and follow for this is pretty straightforward. Uh, so I'm going to uh, push my partner out in front, or bring my partner, or lead my partner. Move ask my partner, me to move. Ask my partner. Um, but the main thing is that I keep my left hand nice and relaxed and I bring my uh, partner out with my right arm. So I do one, two, three, and four. Because of this connection here leads, I can just use my whole body moving from my center. Five, shift back six, and then I just shorten my arm. Seven and eight uh, to, bring, to, bring. to bring your partner. You must bring your partner <laughs> into the close position. Sweden. Um, <laughs> not at all. Um, yes, that's the basics for leading that. Um, and follows for this, I really want to think about um, just making sure my footwork is nice and small. It's my feet are under me, and then I'm continually pulsing through this, making it really easy for my lead to move me. So tripling, and then when I get here, I'm waiting for that lead forward. Yep, and tripling back into close. 
Now for a recap. <laughs> uh, we put all three together, shape, footwork, and lead and follow. Uh, it is rock, step, bring your partner out, step through, step back, and trip, pull step. Yeah, you did so well. You're amazing. Well done. You're amazing. <laughs> now for move two. Out in front, into open. Yes, it may have a name somewhere else. I don't know what it is. But that's that what was we wordy, but this is what we've come up with. <laughs> that looks like this. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfecto. Perfecto. From the other side. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight into the open position. Yeah. Basic shape. Uh, I bring my partner out in front. Boom. I'm going to move my body out of the way and then turn my partner into the open position. So from this direction, follows come out in front and then turning to face your partner. So Excellent. Uh, uh, footwork? Footwork, yes. So footwork uh, for the leads. Uh, oh, so there's two different ways of doing this. I'll do the basic simple way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the straightforward way, one, two, three, and four. I step forward on the five, five. I turn my body uh, and do a weight change onto the six, six, and triple step into a nice uh, open position. The other way you can do it is with a um, rotational step on the five. So you do one, two, three, and four. And rather than having my partner uh, step straight back on the five, I'm going to turn my body and then do that weight change. So I've got a little bit of a rotation and then I'm going to step through on the six. The thought process behind that I think is, uh, and by the way, I do prefer this version, is that I'm getting kind of a nice rotation. So it just feels a little more comfortable and a little more organic. Mm -hmm. I think both are fine. It's whatever you prefer. I don't think there's a right or wrong in that situation. They both feel good. We're both are dancing. <laughs> it's all good. For the follows, what we're doing is, uh, uh, we're going to be going rock, step, triple, pretty much the same as what we did before. But we're, when we go back or a little bit to the side on this five, we're going to be waiting for that rotation or that lead of rotation here. So really waiting, keeping your legs gathered for this. And yeah. I think ultimately what it comes down to is if your uh, waiting follows and the leads can kind of put that uh, weight change uh, where they need to or where they like to. You'll know whether it's rotational or straight. You'll feel it. In your bones. Okay, so now we've got uh, the last move. So this is a little uh, variation that I've been playing around with in my social dancing. I'm sure someone's done it somewhere, but this is the first time I've done it. Uh, so it is, a, I guess, an out in front with some bits. I don't know what, I don't some know things. what I'd call it. Eh, we'll just show you. Uh, so it's um, 16 count if you like numbers. If you've been in any of That's my classes, two eights. I hate numbers. So yeah, you could do two eights. I still think of it as one move though, but it's all twos, man. It's all twos. Uh, so stop yelling at Sorry. Them. Okay, so it looks like this one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and trip, pull back. So I guess it's an out in front with a catchy thing to an out in front with a bringy any thing. Specific. It's a very long name. So let's do shape. Uh, shape. Yeah, maybe let's do shape this way. Okay. So I bring my partner out in front. At this point, leads, I'm going to use my right hand and bring my partner back. And I kind of move off to the side so I can catch my partner's uh, elbow or upper arm or face. <laughs> Don't and catch then, the face. <laughs> no face. Especially in this climate. Well, we're fine though. Yeah, we think we are. Yeah. So, and then from here I can push back out, catch, and then bring my partner back in. That should be pretty straightforward. Excellent. So for the follows for that, what we really want to be thinking is keeping our uh, shape nice and consistent. And by that, what I mean is really your arms, keeping your whole body together. But it's important here that when I'm turning, I'm keeping my arms available and keeping that connected with my hip. So Shane's able to lead me with my arm there. Yeah? Beautiful. Uh, okay, so footwork. Yeah. Uh, so it's two eights, as Tara's saying. I like to think of it as a 16. I don't like to think of it as a number at all. It's eight twos. Twos, twos, twos. Uh, so <laughs> uh, rock, step, triple step. Uh, I'm going to 
step. You're going to shimmy? I'm going to shimmy. <laughs> Money penny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step through. Five, six, seven, and eight. So at this point, I'm on my right foot leads. Left if you're a folly. Uh, I've got my partner's uh, elbow, and then I'm going to do a little bit of a rock step. I'm going to lead back into this rock, step, trip, pull, step, forward, back, trip, pull, step. I did a little hey. forward, back. Thing. That's pretty cool. I love it. So when we put all that together, we've got our uh, shape, footwork, and basic lead and follow. So for this, bringing my partner forward, step, move out of the way, catch the elbow, bring forward again, catch, and back again. Yes. Hey, if we do it from this direction, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and. Amazing. From this direction, one, Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Hey! hey. Final move! Part four! Is it? Oh, it's four. A new hope. Let's tune, go. Tune, 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 tune. Um, so, this one is a, a, a little variation at the end that I like to do. So, oh man, which way should we do it? Uh, this way. Let's try this way. So, you'll <laughs> notice that I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn my partner on the spot at the end. Uh, Stay tuned. <laughs> so one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and ooh. It feels so nice. Uh, so with this, it's the rotation on that uh, rock step. Five, six, seven, and here, I turn my partner on the spot to make that work. Let's do shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Bring your partner out in front. Bring your partner back to the side. I'm gonna catch. So rather than giving my partner direction and turn, I'm just gonna give my partner turn on the spot. So this uh, arm comes around on the spot and then I'm gonna catch here, move this way and come back in again. So if I do it from this direction, it's out in front to the side. I'm gonna turn my partner on the spot. Right here on the spot, I'm going to come around to here and then I'm going to go back and into here. Uh, now the the lead to this is it gets interesting on the nine, on the one of the second eight, uh, which I should probably <laughs> on do. On the third Monday of the first month. Sixteenth <laughs> quarter. Um, so let's do it from here. So when I bring my partner out, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So right now Tara's on her left foot. So it's where this uh, right foot wants to go. Where? So if I, <laughs> if I lead direction and turn, my partner's gonna step out there. If I lead uh, just rotation, my partner's gonna step underneath themselves. So what I wanna do here is lead this underneath rotation, catch here, and then push back and bring in trip, full step. Yeah, and that's why it's, you know, one of the things I think about all the time is making sure I'm balanced because then that turn's going to be really nice and easy and I'll be in the right position to move back. For me as a lead, the big thing that followers can do to, to um, assist is wait as long as you can. So for these kind of rotations, am I rotating or am I giving direction? Uh, the, hard, the thing that can kind of throw that off is if followers are a little ahead, if they're rushing and they step down before the lead gets to... Uh, lead that turn. Not that that creates an impossibility when you're dancing. I mean, the whole idea is it's a conversation. So if followers want to change it up or if they happen to do something I'm not expecting, then you just make that work. That's the it's whole, all dancing. whole point of the dance. But it's a golden rule. Wait, 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 and wait some more.
joining us in our lounge room for Lounge Room Lindy Part 1. Um, we hope you've enjoyed yourselves and you've you know, been able to distract from the world outside for a little bit. Mostly with this, uh, again, low production values. Uh, we just hope you're having a good time. This is for all of our students here in Perth. We, we love miss you. you. Uh, we also love you. We are a lot of things you. Uh, <laughs> we're looking forward to classes coming back. Who knows when, but for now we're going to try and do these Every week, uh, if possible, we'll do our best. I will also try to learn not to shout because uh, it's a microphone. Microphone. Uh, but until next week, thank you very much. Look and after we'll see yourselves. You soon.